Michael is the owner of Sierra, is that right? It's Kiera. Kiera Consulting. Enjoys teaching others about C++, writing template metaprograms, and saber fencing. He's going to tell you about Boostash. Okay, so um, Boostash is a, a library in a week that was um, sponsored at this last CPP. C++ Now, we're on conference. Uh, C++ Now, C++ Now has a zero track, which is called Library in a Week. It started with um, BoostCon in 2008. And um, for people who can figure out how to get to the conference center early enough in the morning, um, we, we argue about how the library is to be developed, and then we spend a couple days trying to develop a library. And uh, the concept uh, this year was something that eventually became named uh, boostash or boostish or depending upon where you live it might even be boost ache um, <laughs> so yeah uh, the idea of, of this was if you've seen template um, and not like templates like we think about templates but templates like maybe web people or other people who are trying to generate text output or other output um, it was a, a template engine and so you provide to it some description and um, it was modeled after a mustache and then it would take a data structure in, and it would apply the two, and then, and then put something out. And um, what we came up with is uh, something that actually looks like this. The, um, the, uh, the idea is that we have a template and some user data coming in. The, uh, the template was going to be compiled um, into an AST. And then the user data and the compiled template data would be um, ran through a VM engine, and then there would be some output. Um, and so let's just look at this one, this one side for a moment, um, which we wrote that week. Um, basically, the template um, is a text description, and it goes through Boost Spirit. The output is an abstract syntax tree. That abstract syntax tree is then um, groveled over with some modern techniques that allow a very declarative description of how you transfer this AST into the AST that you want. And um, that is the engine primitive AST. And you might think, why in the world would you want to do that? You already had a perfectly good AST. And the reason is because Kate wants to write her actually own template uh, language. And so we support then the Kate template, mustache template, and Django template. And you can just keep adding templates. The, um, the grammars to write for Spirit are very, very simple. Um, the declarative. Uh, rules to write in order how to describe one um, AST into another AST are very simple to write. And now that we have a common AST that describes uh, the instruction sets for the compiler. The, um, the other side, taking user data and, and applying it into the VM, the, a lot of questions come up with this, like, what does user data look like? Wow. Sometimes it does look like that. <laughs> um, so like, what, what structure should you use for this data? And you know, should it be JSON? Should it be some variant that's a recursive data structure? Should it be um, maps, vectors? What, what are you going to use? And really what we wanted to use, the design goal, was to be able to use whatever the user had inside of their native C++ program. You probably have some recursive data structure. We would like to take that and throw it at it. Ends up that that's hard. Um, so we, we didn't accomplish that by the end of the week. Um, but uh, I, I had a, a long plane trip from Virginia back to California last month, and so um, I spent some time on that. And you can now throw just about anything at it, and it uses something called categories in order to figure out um, at compile time what a recursive data structure is um, non-intrusively, and, um, and um, can work with that. So here is, um, for example, I just threw this th together. It's using something called extended variant. Um, it is something in Spirit that just allows you to treat variants like they're objects so you can um, declare them early and use them recursively as opposed to all the ugliness that you have to do with non-types that are variants. Um, so here, uh, maps and lists and whatevers. And you can just throw that at the data side um, or any recursive data structure that you might have and it'll understand how to grovel through that and pull the data out as as it's um, processing. Um, so we now have the data AST, um, instruction AST at some point, goes inside to the virtual machine engine, and then, and then we have an output. Um, so this is useful for a whole lot of different things. The, uh, 
our company. Um, Kiara is taking and moving this on, and I'm going to continue to work on it. We actually have something that we call Kiara Labs, where it's our open source um, things that we've been able to do internally for either clients or ourselves, and we move on and, and uh, open source. Uh, you can find more information at kiaralabs.org, including lots of tutorials about Spirit and um, the techniques that we're using, the modern set C++ techniques we're using. And um, at github.com, Kira Labs, you'll find the source code for Boostash. What did you use for your VM? Uh, we actually wrote a VM engine. Yeah, it, it's very simple to write using you know, modern declarative techniques. You can write VM engines very quickly. Um, we, and our company in the last two years have written um, three. Um, for very significant, um, large languages. It, it's not hard. GitHub? Pardon me? Is the VM on GitHub? Yeah, VM's on GitHub. It, it, don't, don't be um, thinking something amazing. I mean, it's just the <laughs> VM that's supposed to process that.